guys in this video we will be learning what is a reflection in python a reflection refers to the ability to extract information about any object in use right let's get started with the tutorial so first we will check the type function right the type function we have used this function many times it tells you which class does an object belong to so for example simple print statement and you let's say type anything like one two it's an integer value you want to know the type of this value so you will get to know that is int right similarly if you want to get some plot value you will see that is plot class okay so this function actually helps to determine what is of its actual type right okay if you type let's say a string okay the type of the class that is a string so this is a type function we have used many a times right this is a fair example of reflection we use type function in python you can even get other types like list one two four and you will learn the program so you will get this is a list type let's see what is is instance function suppose we have a class we have pass a statement there is no method if we create a object of this test class then we type to try to see the type of the object and it will show you this is type of test class right it is showing the type of test if you want to know whether it is instance or not of any type so you can use this instance method we just pass the object and you try to see whether this is a instance of test class or not it will give you yes it is true okay let's say if you define other class then you said pass okay and you try to know whether it is this object is a type of test one so it will show you false okay because this object is a type of test class not test one right similarly if you try to print let's say is instance and you say 10 it's a integer type and you are saying it is a type of a string or not it will say false right because the 10 is a type of integer and you are trying to know the type of this value with str which is not correct if you say int so it will show you yes this is a type of int right you can check other values and type also okay with is instance method one more a use case if you want to test you want to know whether this object is a type of object so it will tell you yes this is a type of object because each class derives from object type right now let's see what is is subclass means the is subclass function actually checks whether a class is a subclass of another class pertains to classes not their instances so okay let's uh, try to use is subclass so we say print right we say whether this test is a object type right so we will get yes true and if you say another use case like whether the str class is a object class str is a subclass to it yes this is okay now let's see what is callable function the object is callable if it invokes a certain process right a python function which performs a certain process is a callable object okay like objects of built-in data types such as int str etc are not callable okay we'll see the example how we can say the callable uh, we have one test class okay and if we try to print right callable right these these are built-in functions 
callable and we try to put some string let's say hello let's see whether it is callable or not you will see it is not callable right why because it's a, a string only it has no operation let's say uh, we try to print this statement like we have any list type okay and then we have some clear function okay this function has a clear function and we say one and two right if you see the clear that is also not a callable function okay if we try to check whether test is callable or not yeah it will show you the test is callable okay because it is our user defined class that is always a callable right yeah, that is callable okay right if you want to uh, make your class object is a callable you can you can do this like we can say the test okay let's add constructor here like in it and then we use one magic method right call right this is predefined all this one okay and we say print if we try to find out whether this test class now is callable or not right it will okay so this is the one and we have just use object to test right that is good if you want to call the object now as you are using a method so it will now give you the result right you see all you have made this class callable with help of this magic method okay right and if you want to get to know whether my this callable object you want to get to know whether you can call this object you, you can pass on your object like this and you will be able to see the print you will see this is callable yes now this object become callable or similarly if you create the object of test class like object one okay then you will try to see whether your object one is callable or not so you will see this second object is not callable because you have not made this class callable right and we have made this test class callable using this call method okay now you could understand like callable function now let's see what is the get attribute function many times you must have seen this get attribute function so this is built-in function again which retrieves the value of named attribute of object how let's say you have this constructor right and you have not define anything so let me take one attribute of the instance object that is let's say name equals to let's say code okay and you want to print the name of the attribute so you can use get attribute and see you can pass on the object right where you have defined this name and you say the name you will be able to see the value of name attribute you see this is the code okay because get attributes actually retrieves the value of the attributes okay instance okay this is the instance of this class test and test constructor has some attribute that is name and you have retrieved the value of this attribute okay similarly if you want to set anything right if you want to set the attribute of any object you can easily set with help of set attribute so how you can do it so you can just say set attribute name to say the python okay and now you want to print it let's say print obj dot name okay so you will see the python as a name you see we have changed the name 
attribute property to the python right previously it was code okay we have seen get attribute set attribute let's see whether has attribute how has attribute works so has attributes function returns to if given attribute is available to the object argument right how you as attribute can use pass on the object and we wanted to know whether let's say name property is there this object or not so let's run the program so yes name is present there with the object if put any name other name and then try to run the program so it is not present name one property is not present you see so this is as attribute returns whether the object has attribute with the given name now let's see what is directory function this tra function this built-in function called without an argument returns a name in the current scope write the command tir and you say type of int want to get all the function name so you will see so many function with that type right add book class as per your requirements you can use you can override those methods right this could be different on the basis of that type it says tr so it would contain different type of methods here right it is basis on that type right if you see the dir method so it will show you it called without an argument written the name in current scope it will provide you the list of strings right the name of the methods okay so these methods are just okay right justify okay left justify the other method you can use those methods mean which means you can use these methods on this type of objects right this type of object you can use these kind of methods depending on their arguments their requirement okay right you can use contains you can use replace in the string okay this is equal method this is format method we have a string dot format so this is the same this is greater than equal this is get attribute the same type okay you can use any of the method as per your i hope you found this tutorial helpful that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video